Lisa May and welcome to my channel. As you can see, my hair is so messy right now. Actually, day 3 or 4 hair na to, so it needs washing. So today, I am going to show you how I wash my hair and how I accentuate my curls. So kung i-hirin kayo at pagod na kayo sa gantong buhok, just keep on watching! <laughs> I follow curly girl method pero hindi ako strict CGM. I always start by removing build up on the scalp. After ko basahin yung buhok ko, I will apply this shampoo with avocado and tea tree oil from Curls by Zen Nutrients. This is a low po shampoo kaya ito ay curly hair approved. I first apply it using my hands, then I scrub my scalp using the scalp brush from Curly Co. It has small and soft bristles that help remove excess buildup on my scalp. Mm, I don't know if ganito rin kayo maligo. Ito yung tinatawag na upside down technique. This one is really common pala sa mga curly haired people because it makes a difference sa curl pattern and hair volume. Also, it is easier for me to get the shampoo to the hidden layers of my hair closer to my scalp. Then I rinse off the shampoo. I make sure na sobrang linis ang scalp ko para maiwasan magkaroon ng product buildup. Next step is deep conditioning. I gently squeeze out the excess water using this microfiber towel at importante na ganito yung ginagamit para maiwasan magbuhol at maputol ang buhok. Another thing, gusto ko dump lang yung buhok ko, hindi totally wet para maabsorb pa rin yung deep conditioner ng buhok without having the barrier from water. For this wash day, I will use Curls by Zen Nutrients Deep Conditioner. It is sulfate, paraben, silicone, and protein free. Una, hinahati ko muna sa gitna, then I use this claw clip to secure one side. I apply the deep conditioner by section. So basically, dalawang claw clip yung ginagamit ko lagi. I use an 8 row detangling brush to detangle my hair and at the same time spread the product. Remember na magbrush lang kapag may conditioner or pampadulas ang buhok. At laging sa baba magsisimula, then pataas para maywasan maputol. After ko ilagay yung product at magdetangle ng buhok, nagka-curl training ako through finger coiling. It will enhance my natural curl pattern and create frizz-free defined curls. Con, I will cover it with a plastic shower top. This will create heat inside which will help open my hair cuticles and let my curl soak up the moisture. I leave this on for 30 to 45 minutes depende sa um, pangangailangan ng hair ko that week. After 45 minutes, I am back. I am going to rinse everything lalo na yung sa my scalp area. Third step is another conditioning, but this time I am going to use avocado and tea tree oil conditioner from Curls by Zen Nutrients. Konti lang gagamitin ko since nagdip ko na ako kanina. Before, nung mahaba pa yung buhok ko, ginagawa ko rin yung upside down technique. Pero ngayon hindi na pwede, kaya hinahati ko na lang sa dalawa parang ganito. Yung inalim muna yung nilalagyan ko. This time, soaking wet dapat yung buhok for full hydration at para makapag S2C or squish to condition ko. Malalaman mo na tama yung pag S2C kapag may naririnig kang wet squishy sound. Dapat lightly squeeze lang, hindi dapat maraming mauhulog na tubig. Ginagawa to para matulungan mo ma-absorb ng buhok yung conditioner and water at para mag-create ng curl pattern. So, sa top part, since abot naman, I'll do the S2C while my head is upside down. After that, I'll cover it again with a shower cap para habang naliligo ako ng katawan, hindi naman mabasa yung buhok ko. So, I'll take a bath muna, then I'll be back. <music> Oh, 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 oh,
I'm done taking a bath and I rinse off the conditioner already. On my hair is a towel wrap from Curlico. Its fabric is made with microfiber suede so I don't need to worry about freeze and breakage. Now is the last step, styling. I will use this live-in conditioner from Curls by Zen Nutrients. This will help reduce freeze, moisturize my hair even more, and keep my curls more defined. So, same lang yung styling sa pag dip con ko kanina. I will apply it by section and I will finger coil my hair again. Also, I'll be using this for styling. It is a 9 row curl defining brush. Ginagamit ito para mas spread yung product at para mag create ng curl pattern. Mm, hindi mo masyado may kita yung buko kasi may eksipa, pero imagine mo yung ribbon na dinadaanan ng gunting. Di ba kahit straight yung ribbon na kukulot? So parang ganun din ito sa buhok. Alam ko mukhang madami akong ginagawa sa buhok ko pero I only do this once a week and hindi naman magastos because um, a little goes a long way lalo na sa hair length ko. And by the way, I finger coil twice every wash day kasi my hair is only curly from my ears pababa. Yung taas literal na straight so to avoid flyaways or mushroom hair, I finger coil it. Maganda na mag curl training na kahit may pa para yung haba or tubo ng buhok ay masunod dun sa gusto kong ikot ng curls or waves. Take note, possible lang ito sa mga may natural wavy or curly hair. If you have straight hair, it is impossible to create the spiral or S pattern kahit araw-araw ka mag curl training. Unless um, you use heat but still it is not permanent. Now, papatuin ko na lang yung buhok ko. I don't have a hair dryer na may cool setting kaya air dry lang yung ginagawa ko every wash day. Mga 2 to 3 hours lang naman to. I'll do other stuff muna then I'll be back again. <music> at type 2A to 2B na yung buhok ko. I'll explain more of this in my next curl related video but basically porosity is hair's ability to absorb and retain moisture while type is according to the curl pattern. By the way, all the products that I used are from Curls by Zen Nutrients. They are the first Filipino made curly hair range and all their products are natural, cruelty-free, at walang sulfates, parabens, phthalates, silicones, or proteins, meaning all CGM approved. You can get this at Chris by Zenutrients.com and you can get a 10% discount when you use code CG Eliza May 10. Take note, you can still avail the discount kahit may ongoing sales sila, just type this curl code before you check out. Disclaimer, hindi ako nagising lang isang araw at alam ko na agad ang CGM. One of my biggest resources when I was starting out was this Facebook group. Ilalagay ko na lang sa description box yung link nila para kung interested ka, pwede ka mag-join. Sa group na to, may mga guides or units company basahin at sunod-sunod na yon. They are very organized and beginner-friendly, kaya hindi ka mahirapan. Pwede ka rin mag-post ng journey mo, ng mga products na ginagamit mo, and pwede, pwede ka rin magtanong. Unfortunately, according to the rules, curly boys cannot join. That is it for my curly hair routine! I had to do a lot of experimenting when it comes to the products and techniques before I discovered what really works for my hair the best. Actually, hanggang ngayon, nag-experiment pa rin ako sa styling ng short hair ko. So, don't be scared to do the same. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!